Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz. If you're new here, I am filming videos on random things I'm working on. I used to just say it was a coding and then I was like, oh, just financials. And now it's just, it's everything. It's business related. It's basically anything that I find interesting and I feel like I should share with the world. So uh, today we're talking about how to purchase a Google domain or to get a domain or what even is a domain. So the first thing is, um, what's the goal here? I want to build a website, which off of my profile website, it's just Liz.org, right? I have a website, it's just Liz.org. I want to basically have it. So let me just do, we'll do this one. So this is my website right now. I can order the domain. It needs to be basically attached to it's just Liz.org domain, which I already bought and purchased. I just need to upload my latest code there, but this is where I'm practicing. So I've been taking she codes courses and I want to basically this construction link, I want to click that and it goes to a domain called my company's name, right? So I want to call my company the cost lab. And so I need to go purchase that domain so that I can start building that website, if that makes sense. So here I want it to go to, it's just, or not, this is, it's just list.org and I want it to click to the cost lab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase it. So right here, you're basically gonna type in Google domains into Google and this thing should pop up. Log in with your Google account. This shows the names I currently own, which I own is just Liz with two Z's.com because I really wanted the .com, but somebody already took it and rrr. So I am just gonna do it's just Liz.org. So I need to delete this one actually, but you're gonna press get a new domain or there's a search button. And so I'm gonna do the cost lab and I want a .com and I found there's a .com and I'm super freaking excited. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, uh, click this and buy it. So how do I add that to my cart? Here we go. Add to cart. Perfect. Okay, so now you're gonna go to your cart and I'm like looking for my wallet because I definitely don't have it near me. I'm definitely wearing sweatpants, so bear with me. I'll probably like do a little clip in and clip out so I can grab it. Uh, so here we want registration, uh, auto renew is on, um, business standard. Custom email would be fun. Uh, Google Workspace, is that a thing? At the cost lab.com. Ooh, I kind of like that. Uh, create your first admin account. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this one as well. I don't really know what a username is. Rao. Dot Rao. Um, allow this to manage domain things, whatever. I think it'd be kind of cool to get the business standard. I don't know what that means. Look more professional. Yeah, I want to, why not, you know? Um, okay. Cool, do today, check out. So, so easy, right? So let me um, jump. Oh, it has my card on file, how nice. Okay, uh, bye. Well, that's easy. Shit, <laughs> who knew? Okay, perfect. We bought it, thecostlab.com. So now what I'm going to do is basically for the cost lab, I want to host this, right? So you got to find where do you want to host your website? So there's a variety of options, right? There's Ghost, there's Wix, there's uh, WordPress, um, Netlify, all this stuff. I <clears throat> want to decode my website from scratch because one, it's really hard to hire a coder to do this for you. And uh, two, I want the street cred of being able to say that I coded it myself. And that's why I started this journey. Well, and that's why I did she codes and I finished like almost all the classes because I'm ready to basically build my own website from scratch. I don't know why it just like, it sounds so cool. So now let's see, um, I need to create a website and all that. So, uh, there's some activities you can do, but for the most part, this is all you need. All your, uh, registration stuff, like your, your DNS, this is the most important part. This DNS right here, you're going to use those codes to link it to your host. So wherever you're hosting it, Wix or Netlify or um, Ghost, you're going to link your DNS records to there and match them. So that way 
it it's going to use your website that you bought but i have a video on that and i'll link it below and that one that video blew up i don't know why i think it's just because i was like really nitty-gritty details but i'll link that below if you want to know how to link ghost to your website but i think i'm going to try to host this one on netlify because it's it's more geared to people who are coding their websites so at least that's what I've learned so far when I took my She Codes class, which I will also link below. But there you have it. How easy is it to buy your own website? So I'm now I just got to get to coding. So uh, stay tuned and totally subscribe if you're interested in this kind of journey of like trying to set up a website and in a business. And I'm going to end up um, registering for an LLC soon. So I am pretty excited. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time.